What's up, Savvy Expats? In today's video, we're going to be exploring the new grocery store Landers at the Uptown Palazzo. There's two floors to the grocery store, so without wasting time, let's get started. And so the first thing about Landers that cannot be ignored without a doubt is the design of the place. It looks like a Roman Colosseum from the outside. This is the Uptown Palazzo, so it's also a residential condo, but also inside they have the Landers grocery store. So what I'm expecting from the inside is a European style design as the outside is very European. And just an awesome design overall to the outside of Landers. Alright, so walking inside of the new Landers grocery store, immediately the first thing that we noticed straight ahead across from us is the checkout area. It's actually pretty crowded out because it's a brand new grocery store here at Uptown. And as for the design of this place, it's a very modern, clean looking grocery store. Definitely nicer than like the Sears and the Jewel Osco and all these that we have in the States. And another thing is, we took a right and you can actually access this grocery store from the parking lot. They have escalators that come in here from the Uptown Palazzo parking lot. All right, so we are on the first floor of Landers. Like I said, there's two floors to this. So we're gonna check out and see what's on the first floor because walking in, you just take a left, walk straight, and then here we have all the grocery items. And so on the first floor, it's not that big. The majority of this floor is just like the checkout area, the cashy area. So let's go up to the second floor and see what they have up there because it's a lot bigger. And so what I like about this, as it is a two-story grocery store, that they have these easy access escalators to go up and down easy with your cart, not the escalators the stairs, of course. So this is actually a nice, so easy way to get up to the second floor. All right, and so here we are on the second floor. Immediately the first things I notice here is some of the kitchenware and materials. You have uh, two burner stoves here, uh, crock pots, microwaves, all this stuff for your kitchen. And not only that, but some of the other first things on this floor is TVs, speakers, and TVs of all different sizes. All right, let's walk forward. We take a right after entering the second floor. I'm just gonna walk straight and see what else we have up here. All right, so as you can see, it stretches pretty far down. Right here, the first things that we have are the chips. We have imported chips here, Lay's, barbecue chips, Ruffles, Cheetos, Doritos. So for any of you expats, we have the imported chips in this section. And then right here are some of the uh, local chips here. And like I said, this Landers is a completely new branch here at Uptown. So this is one of the nicer ones that I've seen. I believe the other Landers, they're like warehouse versions of this. And this one is not so much like a warehouse. It's more like a supermarket. So, And I believe this Landers compared to the other branches is probably more cramped because this is not a warehouse style store. And so before we walk forward and check out all the produce with the meats and the vegetables, we're going to check out on the right here these little mini aisles that they have. And so we're going to start with aisle 36 and 35. Yeah, so these are just some of the little mini goods that they have here, like little fruit bowls. And so yeah, you just go down and there's all these little mini aisles here on the right that you just zigzag back and forth in. So we're walking close to the produce section on the way there. There's a couple of other little mini things in the, in the center here. Just some miscellaneous snacks and stuff like that. And now moving forward, here we have the fruit section. Just a little fruit section right here. And the vegetables to the right of me. As you can see here are some of the oranges. $2.69 a pack. Little orange tree here, cool. Some apples, and then right here is some poultry. Have eggs, and then more fruits on this side and these shelves right here. We got watermelons, papaya down there, durian, bananas. And then walking across, here are some of the vegetables. So off the bat, some of the vegetable produce that I see are eggplants, beans, cabbages, tomatoes. What is this? Squash eggplants yeah so a lot of different options here on this side i'm sure that there's more throughout the store and then on this side here are some tomatoes calamansi potatoes onions ginger and it just stretches all the way down with all these different options <laughs> So 
So yes, the produce section, it just stretches down with all these options down this aisle. Now let's check out the poultry and the meat. This is where it's gonna get interesting. All right guys, so let's walk through and look at all the individual meat options here. There's some marinated beef here, Korean beef, some tenderloin, as you can see here's the prices. $3.91 for that, $4.29, $2.84, beef eye round steak. So some of the tougher steaks on this side. Ooh, some T-bone steaks here too. Going for $2.07, so about four bucks for that one. And honestly guys, having good quality meat especially beef is a lifesaver here in the philippines because if you guys don't know the steak here in the philippines is not that good it's hard to get and get your hands on good quality steaks here so having good usda prime steak is a lifesaver for sure and that stuff you can find at landmark which is where we go to to find our steaks and ribeyes and now let's take a look at some of these seafood options for you guys so here is the seafood area right here there's some shrimp as you can see white shrimp tiger prawns 1349 pesos for that one yeah these tiger prawns are actually pretty big octopus is right there blue crab yeah so this is the seafood area right over here and then behind that here are some frozen seafoods like bangos stuff that you can kind of put in your freezer more of the bigger fishes right here as you can see and then these are the rest of your fish options so not really a ton of options but these are some of the main ones that you have. All right, now let's take a look at the poultry and some of the fresh meat in this section of the grocery store, which is also past the seafood aisle. So on this side, there's some Australian beef here, New York steaks. Here we have the ground beef. There's also some cube steak, beef flank steak, uh, ribeye. Oh, nice. Ribeye going for about, about 10 bucks. So yes, that are all of the beef options that you have here, which is all just lined up for you guys to check out. Uh, some of these you can be used for Korean barbecue, as you can see. Some of these you can be used for Nalaga. Yeah, so those are all the beef options. And on the other side of that, these are the poultry. These are just all chickens cut up in different sizes, all different kinds of chicken. Some of them are cut in strips for chicken breast. Some of them are whole. So on this side, here are some of the frozen meats. There's some ribs there. Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Where is this? Alright guys, so if you guys are in the mood for making a whole lechon, there is a whole baby pig in here. For only a th What the heck? Okay, that's per kilogram. Alright, so that's a whole baby pig. So if you want to get some whole lechon baboy, yeah, go get that pig right there. Alright, so now let's go see what other meats we have on this side. So here are some of the marinated beefs and meats you can use for barbecue. As I said, that's the poultry section, the fresh beef section. And then you walk across, here are some more of the fresh meats. Pork, pata, some spare ribs. Yeah, so guys, comment down below. What are your thoughts on the looks of this meat? I know a lot of you expats can relate to trying to find good quality, either USDA Prime or just good quality meat and beef in general. So how does it look to you guys? Here are some of the prices. 496 for some pork spare ribs. Here you have some cuts for adobo. And now here are some of the deli meat options, which I'm actually really curious about because it's also hard to find some good deli meat here in the Philippines. So as for the deli meat here off the bat, these are packaged. Sometimes you got to be kind of skeptical about these packaged vacuum sealed deli meat because from our experience, a lot of time when it's vacuum sealed like this, it's not very good. All right, so those are, I believe that's the majority of the options, but we'll check out and see what else they have. Here are some of the cheeses. Those are the cheese brands. And then right here we have some wraps, adobo pundasol. Okay, so these are just like pre-made little pundasol meals. And that one you probably shouldn't buy. That'll give you a stomach ache for sure. All right, so not many options when it comes to the deli and slicing meat area and section. So we're gonna check out and see what we have in the refrigerator and freezer section. Now let's see what we have right here. So there's some pizza. I didn't even know that Shakey's had a uh, frozen pizza. As you can see. Let's see what else. Some wonton noodle soups and cherries, fruits, blueberries, uh, vegetable, frozen vegetables, and french fries on the end of the freezer section. Some butter over here. And then right over here is a section for all of you guys that have sweet tooths. I've never seen these kinds of ice cream brands. Italian style pistachio over here. 
Over here are the Filipino ice cream brands like Selecta. You have pistachio, you have cookies and chocolate. haagen -Dazs, one of my favorite brands. You have cookies and cream down here. Awesome, Ben & Jerry's, another American brand. Oreo, there's Magnum down there. Chinese brands right over here. So this grocery store overall, what I noticed is that the, everything is really well organized, which is nice. I noticed that the workers here are very attentive to the customers and that they're constantly stacking, they're doing their job, they're not slacking off or anything and they're organizing as they go. And now we move on from all these sweets in the refrigerator section and now here we have the baked goods and bread. All right, so right here we have some dinner rolls, American dinner rolls, some hot dog buns, as well as fundasol as well. And, oh, they even have balloon guy fundasol too. And then you also have some more fundasol breads from even Tous Les Jours. I, th I thought that was a French brand, but I guess they serve fundasol as well. And uh, more dinner rolls and whole loaves as well. And then moving forward under the dough and co section, there are some cakes right here. It looks like they have some chocolate cake. There's some apple turnovers for desserts. Uh, what is this, an apple crumble as well. So more dessert options right over here. And then some of the last things that they have here are these lemon bars. There's also a double fudge chocolate bar. Uh, cinnamon rolls too. And then also what surprised me is that they also have a bagel here as well. And so for more of those of you guys that have sweet tooth, there's a taro purple cake, uh, banana bread here, carrot loaf. Yeah, you can even get like your cake options here too as well. Uh, and also muffins. So that's nice. These muffins look pretty good. Red velvet cake. Chocolate muffins. Here's a dark choco truffle cake. Donuts, donuts. And then another cupcake. So right now it's actually pretty crowded at the moment. It's already late. And I think it's because everyone's doing their Christmas shopping, getting all of uh, the food for the holidays and whatnot, so pretty crowded right now. But just a ton of little sweet options here, and cakes and muffins and all of that. Even more sweets, so a lot of options for that. A lot of imported goods too. I also have seen that they have some options that you don't have at SNR. So here at Landers, there are some other imported goods and options. In this aisle, there's more sweets, chips ahoys, chocolate bars, Oreos. Yeah, they pretty much have everything here, so it's like unlimited options. Goldfish too. And so yeah guys, there's just so many aisles that you have to explore here. The only thing is, is that you kind of have to bob and weave because for a Landers, the aisles are somewhat small. I mean, they're not that small to where you can't get through, but you kind of have to bob and weave some of the cards here, especially when it's crowded like times at this, where there's a new opening and it's the holidays. And another thing that I like about the land is, like I said, it's a very organized grocery store and it's also clean, it looks modern, everything looks great and very up to date. Kind of a, I guess you can say a European style design in it. And you compare that to SM Supermarket, a lot of the SM Supermarkets that I go to, it's like chaos inside, there's stuff laying on the floor, it looks dirty. Um, and also with the meats, they like put like little fillers in it, like liver and organs to make the weight go higher and you pay more. And so I like this store a lot more than SM Supermarket, of course, and um, a lot nicer overall. Kraft Mac and Cheese, my favorite growing up. Still tasty to me. So they also have the alcohol, wine, and spirit section over here. And it's just a ton of options, actually. I was surprised to see how much options they have here. Compared to Landmark, for sure, a lot more alcohol options over here. So you have sparkling wine, you have rose wine, white wine and then also the collector section. So if you want to really treat yourself to good scotch and alcohol, they even have the blue label, which is available here at, uh, why do I keep on forgetting the name? Landers.
And what's also cool about this area here is that they even separated the wine section into places. So you have the France, Italy section, Spain, Portugal, Argentina, the USA. And so I really like how everything is sectioned off and organized so that you can come in quickly, get what you need, and it's very simple and easy. And the best way to describe the grocery store is that when you go up to the second floor, you take a right, you can walk through the produce area, and from there it kind of is like a circle. We can just walk all around and check out everything that you need. At the very end of the circle and in the back on the second floor is all the cleaning supplies and just rows and rows of cleaning supplies for your house. So at the last section, there's a couple more of these aisles with all the household items like zip locks, some Reynolds wrap, foil, aluminum foil, baking sheets and stuff like that. The household items right over here. Sweet, they even have igloo coolers here at Landers too. So if you're looking for coolers, they have that. And so guys, we made a full circle around all of Landers, checking out all the produce, meats, poultry, seafood, uh, the household items. And you take a full circle and we ultimately end up back to where we started, where there are the stove tops, pots, and TVs. And so thank you Savvy Expats for watching this Landers Grocery Store Tour. Landers is definitely a unique store, especially because the exterior looks like a Roman Coliseum. So comment down below what you guys think of the grocery store, if you guys would ever visit it, and actually buy a membership here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.